Pete Scheuer. What a weekend. Wow. Wow is right. What a spring. What, what a spring. What a spring. Okay. Softball is down 6 nothing in the first inning. Yeah. Baseball is down 7 nothing in the first inning. Both come back to win. What, are you just, what kind of a role are you on? And your team's on, man. <laughs> well, I will tell you this. Uh, it starts, I say it all the time, it's who you surround yourself with. They're, both of these programs um, are led by really, really good coaches. and Completely different guys. Completely different personalities. Um, r r they run their program differently, um, but both of them have an unbelievable level of success uh, year in and year out. And uh, But just what a time. I mean, obviously softball wins the tournament. Uh, baseball wins a regular season. They're going to host uh, this weekend. It's a busy week. A busy um, week. You know, with, you're, I, being, you're going to be in Chicago. I am. Yes, I'm going to leave. Uh, I won't go with the team. I'll probably go a day later, uh, just to try to make sure everything is set up for baseball before I leave. And then obviously I'll go and, uh, and join okay. the team in Chicago. Let's get into the particulars. Yeah. Softball opens in the what would you do? I guess the Chicago regional mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, against Notre Dame. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. They'll see gold helmets. I know. I know. And uh, then. It, the number one seed there is number ninth ranked Northwestern. Mm -hmm. Two programs from the Midwest. Everybody knows about Notre Dame, but Northwestern, very good program. Absolutely. People don't understand that. Um, beautiful setting. Uh, they'll play right on the lake. Yeah. Uh, baseball, for the first time in history, a postseason will be played on campus. Winners of the regular season, somehow. And now you get to play a four-game, a four-team mini tournament yep. that would lead to what would be a super regional type situation exactly for right. the Southland Conference. How exciting is this? Because you still got coming <laughs> off a great uh, track. For sure. It's awesome. I mean, it's, you know, I, out of 14 sports, 10 of them um, were in the top three this year. And yeah. uh, I mean, we've we've had an unbelievable year, and uh, and we you know of two of the four like football and, and tennis, we've made changes. Those programs obviously are going to get a lot better. Um, obviously, women's basketball made a big improvement, and men's basketball's got to get better for sure. Um, but I will tell you that uh, this well, they had a very good they had a very good signing period for sure. They had a great recruiting period, um, but. I'm excited. I mean, where where this department is and where it's headed, um, I, I couldn't be more excited. And and it goes back to what I said earlier: you have to get the right people in place, and and getting the right coaches in place that develop culture, that want to be here, that understand what McNeese is, uh, understand the expectations, embrace the expectations. Um, I couldn't be happier. No wonder the league hates you. Yeah, that's okay. A little jealousy. Hey, you know what? Jealousy. Every every everyone everyone needs a villain, right? Yeah. That's okay. That's, yeah, <laughs> right? You call me, right? call me a villain. <laughs> exactly. It's you. It actually was you the whole time. <laughs> but how proud are you of the way things are handled here? Because they could have the baseball team down seven nothing, finding out that Nichols was winning, so they could have shared the title anyways. Didn't didn't want to share. Softball could have said, hey, we won the regular season. We were having a bad game to start the tournament. They fought back, and, and, and they proved a point that uh, they're not satisfied. How proud of you are that? I'm really proud. I mean, both of these programs, I'm, I'm just – I'm really proud of the uh, – I mean, you can talk about Coach Gilroy. You can go down the list. I mean, where we're headed, um, you know, it's really simple. I say it all the time. Oh, boy. We're, no, it's, we're student-athlete-centered, and we're fan and donor-friendly. And all of our head coaches understand that. They're great in the community. Their kids are, are doing what they're supposed to do on and off the court, in the floor, in the field. Um, but uh, this is just the beginning. I'm just telling you, Jim, that we, we have an opportunity in the next three to five years to, uh, to really, really, really solidify ourselves um, as one of the best low major, mid major programs, athletic departments in the country. And that's my goal. Um, People ask me, what, I mean, what do you, what's, what do you really want to accomplish? I want to win. Um, you know, I want this to be a yearly thing. And you know, next year instead of having ten out of fourteen, I want to have eleven or twelve, and uh, and just keep growing our department, and you know, keep watering it, and just keep giving it more and more, and um, and supporting our coaches, supporting our athletes, and uh, the best is yet to come. I said that a year ago. You didn't believe me, but I'm just telling you, the proof is in the pudding. All right. Um, <laughs> What does it mean financially to possibly have seven or eight more baseball games on campus, just dollars and cents wise? 
You know, I don't know exactly yet the economic impact. Um, obviously, I, I think it can be uh, substantial. We'll see. Um, you know, see, uh, hopefully, you know, people come out. I mean, what else is there to do on a Thursday night, right? Come out and watch the pokes at 6 o'clock. No, um, it's, a, it's a great you opportunity. Know, but, it, but it is a great opportunity. I think, you know, and I say this all the time, being able to host all these tournaments going into the future, and, and we're going to be able to see some of this um, if we're lucky enough to, to, to win this weekend and host again. The economic impact uh, for for our community, you can't put a price on it. And all these teams coming here have to stay in a hotel, have to eat, have to get gas. It's it, it, it's a win win for everybody. You're the economic fuel of the town, <laughs> aren't you? All of a sudden, so real quick, mm -hmm. baseball wise, four you'll have at least four games, five yes. games, right? Mm -hmm. um, Great opportunity to look into yeah. what you do next year, I guess. For sure, absolutely. And James Landrenov coming up after this. Oh, huge! Got to be happy with that. Um, I can't. I, I love a the chance guy. to beat Notre Dame. I love the guy. Can't a wait. chance He's to beat next. Notre Dame, no doubt. We'll meet James Landrenov again after this on Poke Nation.